Hello boys and girls, it's me Magnus here and today I want to show you how to how you can use the pan and crop tool that is in Sony Vegas. Um, basically the pan and crop tool makes you able to zoom in on a movie slash picture uh, and move like a picture into the movie. Um, it's not a hard tool to use, but you have to understand how it works, so, um, alright, let me show you. Let's say we, at this part in my video right here, I want to zoom in, so let's say, uh, this name down here. Basically, we want to make it a clip on its own, like this. You can see now it's a clip on its own, you can move it around. And then you want to go down to this pan and crop down here, and this opens up a new window. Make sure you have your preview thingy thingy over that clip, so you can see what you're doing. All right. So in the start, we want to have it out here, so you can see the full screen. Then in the middle of the clip, we wanted to zoom into this down here. So let's see how it looks like. You can go into your preview bar and see how it looks like. You can see it goes further and further in as long as it goes. Alright, so we have it to go out there. And um, make sure in the start where you have it all out that you put them. Um, Alright, it should do it by itself, but make sure you create key f keyframe and then the other time also create keyframe like that. Alright, and that's basically it. Now you start out at the clip and you slowly move in. Um, and basically just move it around, add some more keyframes, make it the way you like it, and all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Another thing you can use it for is move in a picture. Like, s say. We have this airplane right here, and we want it to move it across the screen. I don't know why you wanted that, but let's say you want it, or something, uh, other object like that. Um, basically, what you want to do is right click and add a new video track. Just drag the airplane in where we want it to be in the movie. Like right now, it's just in the middle of the whole screen. We don't want that. Go down to your pan and crop. And you want to make oops to make it start out here so you can see it comes from across the screen. Uh, maybe you want it to be smaller as well. So um, let's make the screen bigger. So now I have a nice small um, airplane. But you can see it likes at the outside is like clips like that. The way to prevent that is. Um, Go here to maintain aspect radio and select no instead. As you can see now it goes to the full screen. It's pretty sweet. So yeah, let's start out here with the camera. Add a keyframe. And then it will go across the screen like this. Just that last keyframe, it will end over here. Alright. So you can see it starts over here, on the right side, you can see this is the screen, and this is here where the plane starts, and it ends on the left side of the screen. Alright, so let's see how it looks like. Come across here, da 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 da, and we got a plane flying in. Yep, yep, and you can tweak it any way you like, like this is pretty smashed out because I. You have to be careful that maintain aspect radio. We have to uh, use it with care. Just adjust it if it's, it looks that smashed out. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. You can do this with any object you want. Um, the zoom in can also zoom out and whatnot. This is the basics of the tool, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye.